Hello, I'm Roberta Iblasi. And I'm Herzo Martin. And we work together in the team making ECAS data publicly available. In this video, we will help you get familiar with ECA Chemicals database, ECAChem. ECAChem is our new public chemicals database. We are launching it gradually as new components are available. Here, you can see when the next releases are foreseen. 30th of January, 2024, Launch with rich registration data submitted by industry in a UKIT format. May 2024, rich registration data alignment with new IUCLID format. Q3 2024, revised classification and labeling inventory. Q4 2024, first set of regulatory processes and obligations lists. While we roll out ECACHEM, our old database will still work and be kept up to date. When a new dataset gets launched on ECACHEM, it will stop being maintained in the old platform. This is what concretely changes in the old platform. The search box will be removed from ECAS homepage. Instead, by going to Search for Chemicals, you can access both ECACHEM and the old platform. When a dataset has been moved to ECACAM, such as rich registration, for example, you will see a banner like this on top of the info card that will take you to this corresponding substance dashboard in ECACAM. The substance dashboard is a one-stop view for everything to do with a chemical. We will show it to you in a more detail later in this video. Thank you, Herson, for introducing the new database and phase release plan. Now let's take a close look at ECACHEM and what you can find there. You can access ECACHEM at chem.eca.europa.eu or, as Herson showed, search for chemicals tab on ECA website. On the landing page is the search box, where you can do a simple search with a chemical identifier, such as EC number or UPAC name. More advanced search features will be added in the future. Keep in mind that in the first version of ECACHEM, you can only search for substances that have a rich registration. Now I will show you how the basic search works. I will search for a substance, for example, benzene. The search result shows all substances with the string benzene. Next to each substance name are the EC and CAS numbers when available. On the top left, you can see the total number of results. On the right side, I can decide how many results I want to see on each page. I can easily move from one page to the other by clicking on the arrow. I can also sort the search results either in ascending or descending alphabetical order. I can also change the sorting of the EC and CAS numbers in numerical order. Finally, I can export the search results in Excel format. So now you have seen how to do a simple substance search, how the results are shown, and how you can export them. Next, I will guide you through the Substance Overview page in ECACHEM a dashboard that summarizes all the available information for a substance. You can access it by clicking on the substance name. The page will be gradually enriched with more content as the development of ECACHEM progresses. Zooming in on the dossier section, I can see that there are 133 rich registrations available for the substance. By clicking on it, I land on the dossier page. This page contains the non-confidential information about all rich registrations the ECA received for benzene, including the dossier themselves, the name of the registrants, and the registration numbers. In ECACHEM, the rich registration dossiers of each substance are published one by one, without any merging. This improves the transparency of the information and makes the system more stable and performant. ECACHEM neatly organizes information. Active rich registration dossiers are distinct from not active ones, providing clarity. 
I can also sort dossier based on different criteria, like the last updated date or the dossier subtype. The dossier view follows the same structure and look and feel as Euclid, with a table of content on the left side. For a more compact display, you can choose to hide empty fields. This concludes my demo of the basic search and features of EKKM. We've come to the end of our video. We hope it has helped you to get familiar with our new chemicals database. Remember to check our support page. It has a lot of material like guides and webinars to help you to use EKKM. If you have any questions, contact us by clicking on support inside EKKM. Goodbye. Goodbye.